Hello, Mrs. Claus here. Oh, so nice to see you back again. I hope your days have been going well. You know, Santa and I always watch. We watch everybody. We'll watch people from when they're little bitty babies as they grow old and they get older and they become the great generation and they silently age out. And it's very interesting to us about how they're treated. There's one story of one special little lady that I would like to tell you today. She was old and she's very frail, very, very frail and slightly sickly. And she lived with her husband. But then her husband passed away and she was living by herself. Soon she could no longer live by herself. So she went to live with her son and his wife and her little granddaughter, who she truly loved. Well, as I said before, she was extremely frail, and even at the dinner table, she would have difficulties. Food would slide off her spoon. She would spill her sloop, soup slightly, and the son would get irritated because it bothered him to see his mother in this shape and form and making a mess at the dinner table. Well, one night, it was really bad because the tiny, frail lady spilt her glass of milk. Well, the son was extremely upset about that, and that was it. That was a straw that broke the camel's back for him. The next night, he set up a little table in the corner of the kitchen by a pantry door, and he placed his mother at the table and put her food there. And that is where she continued to eat. Well, everybody else stayed at the table. Every once in a while, they would say something to her, but basically they ignored her. It was very sad. And she was very sad because she had become invisible and no one seemed to care about her. And again in her life, she was alone. Well, her little granddaughter... Her son's daughter happened to be playing in the corner of the kitchen one night when the parents were getting ready for dinner. She was playing with her blocks and she was making something very interesting. Well, her father went over to her and said, well, what are you making? And she looked at him and she said, I'm building a table in this corner. So you and mommy can sit here and eat when I get older. Out of the mouths of babes, sometimes we're forced to see our own reflections. The father and his wife, they broke down in tears. Don't forget your older generations. Don't make them invisible. They have so much to give you and so little time left. And with that, I hope you have a good evening. And hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.